Tanjung Pagar Railway Station in Singapore first opened in 1932 and for decades played a key role in the movement of goods and people between Malaysia and Singapore. But last weekend saw the closure of the Grand Old Station and with that, the end of an era in rail travel between Malaysia and Singapore. With a sentimental farewell plan to mark the closure of this historical old station, this was definitely a momentous train journey worth making the time for. So make the time, this reporter duly did. Hello there, I'm on the 210 Express right yard from KL Central heading into Singapore's Tanjung Pagar station. Now this is a bit of a historical trip because this train is destined to pull into Tanjung Pagar for the very last time this evening. Now this route's been going for about ooh, 79 years, since 1932 to be precise. But after this evening, Malaysian train commuters heading into the Lion City will have to get in via Woodlands because Tanjung Pagar Station, the beautiful steeped in history Tanjung Pagar Station, will be no more. So I'm just gonna sit back, enjoy the rest of this ride. I'll check you guys later. Also on the last KL to Tanjung Pagar train were Singaporeans like Zakaria who were eager to recall fond memories as well as be part of history. How do you feel about, uh, you know, this? it's been 79 years since I've been so accurately informed. 79 years and now this route is no more. So how do you feel about, uh, you know, the end of the demise of the, the route going into Tanjung Pagar? Okay. Um I, 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 maybe uh, it don't really, really feel so much. Not like the senior citizens of Singapore or Malaysian, in fact, who uh, used this train in the earlier part of the years. That uh, no much other transport into Malaysia except for the train. Mm -hmm. uh, to me, is uh, that I remembered uh, my late father came to Singapore during the Japanese time by train from Tampin to Singapore. That is what I remember mm -hmm. for the story from my late for my late mother and my late father. Okay. okay, okay. So I mean historical journey, so are you glad to be like one of the passengers on this last historical train ride? Yes, yes. We we are really glad. Uh, we, uh, we will remember this throughout our life. Uh. Others like Rosemary Ong and Kamisa Atan simply wanted to join the party that was poised to happen at the end of the line. For the fun? Just to join all the, you know, to have fun with all the mm. other people who really uh, means a lot like the trip, mm. the last trip to Tanjong For the memory Baga. of the last train to Tanjong Baga. Yeah. As the last train from KL rolled into Tanjong Baga, KTM staff past and present were joined by family members and a crowd of around 2,000 well-wishers who were already gathered at the station to bid it a sentimental farewell. With the Sultan of Johor, Sultan Ibrahim Iskandar, who obtained his train driver's license last year, poised to drive a special last locomotive out of the station, excitement was definitely palpable in the air. As the last train departing from this historical old station trundled into the night, scores of visitors clambered onto the tracks to take their final photographs and mementos of the station before midnight. If you consider the station is about 80 years old, then it's not more than an era, it's like an epoch in time, you know. It's a large, large chunk of time. Because I think as I was looking at the brochures, there was a train service in, 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 in Malaysia as far back as 1882, I saw some brochures here. Wow. So whereas this station may have been just opened in 1932. Okay, well the party's still going on in this beautiful old uh, railway station. As you can see, I'm surrounded by people all with smiling faces. And I have here a lovely bunch of people who are childhood friends actually. So I'm going to ask you guys, did you guys come together to have a party to send this station off? Yeah, we make a gathering in here. Because uh, we are through Facebook, so we doesn't make uh, we just made about 
few years we did not met, so mm. we come here and met. This is our last, uh, no, last uh, meet, meeting. You see, yes. uh, actually, this is maybe yes, it it's is. A because we stay here a very long, you know, 19 years. We stay here. Mm -hmm. It's like. To us, it's a very sad story like, because we can't stay there, we need to move house, we find a house actually. It's a bit of a problem, uh, yeah, correct, yeah. And, and how do you feel about this? Um, I think, firstly, uh, after this end of 12 o'clock midnight, so everything is end, so this is not our land anymore. Mm -hmm. But I feel sad about that because uh, I was grow up in here, everything in here, sad, uh, sad happiness, a joyous, born here. I have all everything in here. We born here, yes. and I get married down here, you see? Wow. Uh, my, my wedding invitation, my wedding is here. No? I leave my memory over here, and I love Tanju Baga. And we are a KTMB childhood, <laughs> childhood friend <laughs> forever and ever. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Well, then I can't say fairer than that. Everyone's going to have a party. I think I'm going to join the East and have a party. So, talk to you later. With its stately arches and beautiful artwork, it's good to know that despite Tanjung Paga Station no longer operating as a fully functioning railway station, this historical site will live on as a national monument and be conserved. Certainly, Tanjung Paga Station, with all its pomp and grandeur, deserves nothing less.